When you think South Georgia, you think sweet. And it's not just the onions and peaches that grow sweet down here. Jay McCraney has been working down on the Grange here in Metter, Georgia for quite a few years. He's been through the ups and downs of farming, but the fruits of his labor are so incredibly sweet. Better made. Born and raised here. This is a first generation blueberry farm, but uh, my family's been farming in Candler and Tattnall County for three generations. We've been very diversified from cotton and peanuts to uh, cattle and blueberries now. The rabbit eye blueberry's been our mainstay. It's sweet, it's crisp, it's just uh, something you wanna eat. Here in, in middle Georgia, we start about the middle of May, May 15th or so, and we go through the week after uh, July the 4th. I believe too much of our food's imported, and I think anytime we can show our consumers that we have a uh, safe and better product, more flavorful product, uh, I believe that's, that's good for all of us in our industry. A lot of American consumers don't know the difference in what's imported and what's not, and if we can label that and, and get our name out there and show them a better product, I think it's good for everybody. There's basically two markets for blueberries, a fresh market and a large portion of those have to be hand-picked and a lot of ours are older varieties that go on a process market which goes into blended and frozen foods and such and that's what we use the machine for is to pick for the process market. And we can take four guys on this machine and uh, pick what it would take 50 guys to pick by hand in a day. They will be not labeled McCraney Farms, they'll be labeled anything you see with blueberries from, from Pop-Tarts to Frozen to whatever it may be is where most of ours go. Most people don't realize what it costs to get a blueberry from the ground, first year planting, to when you see it in a supermarket. It's a huge endeavor by uh, a lot of people uh, from, from picking to transportation to uh, retail. I think people have kind of lost touch with that and that's why the, the, the local movement is really moving fast. For a time, people wanted it cheap and fast. And with cheap and fast, you're not necessarily getting quality all the time. And I, and I think being more attached to some quality product, being attached to where your food comes from, is just healthy. It's healthy uh, physically and emotionally. And I think people have jumped on the bandwagon and it's really grown fast. Most kids, even in Metter, Georgia, a small community here in South Georgia, are not raised on the farm. They're detached from it now. So uh, anytime my kids' friends come out or anything, they're, they're amazed by what we do. From just growing the product to, to, to how we harvest it and, and such as that, it's uh, a blessing to live in a small community where you can share that. Jay and dedicated farmers like him are currently battling challenges like multiple spring freezes, historic hurricanes, and trade wars. However, there are some new options offered through a partnership between the University of Georgia Extension Program and Georgia Grown that can hopefully help these farms and agribusinesses dealing with challenges similar to Jay get their products to the consumer. So let's continue spreading the word and keep these farmers and our own taste buds happy.